Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel Express Your Data. In today's important video, we are going to discuss the questions that were asked in LTI mind trick. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us get started. And while doing so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So here the interview, like the questions that I see looked little complex because this was L2. I'm assuming they had a good uh, questions here and let us start here so the first question was while blending we get the star marks okay when blend is not working properly why this was the question like so if you have seen my channel or you are following my channel you know we have already discussed so generally when uh, do blending come into picture blending comes into picture when we are bringing in data from two different data sources so here what we need to understand is the granularity of the data. Like I always say, what is the granularity and at which level we are bringing the data that defines your star mark. So generally star mark comes when Tableau is not able to identify which record to pick. Like say it is seeing one too many probabilities there and it will get stuck. So that is when it will give you star mark. So to solve this issue, what we need to do is we need to establish relationship at multiple levels. That is when we can fix it. So to show you this practically, what I'm doing is I've already connected to two different data sources. Okay. I have file one here and I have uh, this one, two files. One is blended file and the text file which are coming from two different data sources. Now here in one file, I have state name and sibling. And in another one, I have state name and eye color. These three columns I have. Now if I'm trying to bring in a state from one and uh, maybe name from another, see what is the result here. Or state and sibling I'm trying to get. So here it is showing me star indication why let us find out now i'm bringing state from uh, which table i'm bringing state from this one and from file one i'm bringing this one so if i go to this from here i'm bringing state here so here i have taylor now if you see here when i try to match here we have one record but here we have two records for sibling now state and state is matching Okay, but Tableau is stuck which record it has to pick from these two. So that is why it is showing you a star mark here. Now to fix this, what we can do here, like I said, we need to establish relationship at multiple level. Now, when I say that for this state and for this name, give me sibling. Now, if I go there and if I try to bring in name, it will try to give me what is the record for that two. So if I go and try to match, this is the record that it is coming. That way you need to analyze and think at which level it is miss, mix, uh, missing the record. Then only you will be able to fix the star mark in your real time. Okay, I hope this, uh, you, know, you got the answer for this. Next is how will you calculate YTD and MTD calculations? Again, this was a recently asked interview question. And I think we have solved this question in the uh, previous video. So technically what we need to do is we need to find out the total sales in the current year till date. Let's say from today, uh, from January till today, the to three months of data that we have, we have to find out the sales. That is your YTD. Month till date means again in this current month from 1st of March till today that is your month till date okay so i'll share the link of this video in the description box do watch it out these days they are frequently asking this type of questions where you need to write some coding or you need to think from technical perspective again this question is also not straightforward we need to think uh, you know and those who have already got this type of issue they will only be able to answer this question or those who are watching my channel will know how to answer. Second, this also we need practice or hands-on. Try to focus on your coding stuff 
that is where majority of you know the candidates are getting rejected these days now the third question was a sql question again a pretty interesting and simple question we have employees salary we have, we have to find a difference between highest salaried employee with the salaries of other employees which means what the maximum salary of a employee minus the salaries of all the other employees that is what we have to do and he is telling that it can be sorted highest salary employee based on salary we can sort okay so now let us go to sql and we'll check so what i'm doing is i'm considering our standard table emp which has my uh, employee data so i'm just taking select uh, employee and uh, department number comma salary okay so these three columns i'm taking from employee because i want to sort it on uh, salary i'm just uh, sorting by salary so that i will know here itself what is my maximum salary sorry emp is the table name I'm just running this. Now I have this department number and salary and order by salary descending. So if you see the maximum salary that we got is 5000. So now I want to subtract this 5000 from each of the employee for this. So how I am doing is I'm simply writing like this. I'm calling my employee name salary and a department where using a small sub query i am just calling select maximum sub uh, salary from this table so which will bring in this 5000 for me and i am subtracting my normal employee salary so 5000 minus 5000 will be zero and i am calling that field as a salary difference so if i just run this now see here king has got salary of 5000 and we are subtracting the maximum salary rate, which is 5,000. So 5,000 minus 5,000 is zero here. Again, 5,000 minus 3,000 is 2,000. 5,000 minus 3,000 is 2,000. So it is subtracting the salary from the maximum salary. That is what it is doing. So the only trick that we need to understand is how you can write this. Okay, so if you get this, I think that then you are good. So next important question was again related to join. So in a SQL for two tables, when there are duplicate entries, what would be the final result table count for any join? This was the question. Okay. So he has given table A and table B. So table A has got four records. Table B has got only three records with one null. So so if it is inner record, you will know only matching records will come. Okay, so which means only this record should come. And uh, when it is left to join, we will get all of this and not this like that. Okay, so I hope this question was useful because in again, in many uh, interviews, I think you are getting a question on join where like you know you are asked like how many records you are expecting for each type of join you can assume whatever the table that you want that is the kind of generic question we are getting which is like in similar format i think this is also is discussed in our uh, sql series if not you uh, know you have not watched it already please go and start watching that so yeah so that's it from my side in this video i think this video was very useful because the questions were a little unique uh, something that weren't uh, asked frequently please practice this kind of questions so that it can help you in uh, facing interviews with confidence see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day